Hello everyone, today I would like to show you how to select the best model uh, for the QSAC model using the Bayesian model average uh, with a lot, with a multiple covariate. You cannot use the multiple linear regression or non-linear regression or even ANN or stepwise in the starter to run a lot of molecular descriptors in, uh, with a limitation of compounds. And so in here, in this video, I will show you how to use the Bayesian model average, the, the best model to predict um, the PIC50 with um, uh, thousands of uh, multiple of uh, covariate. Uh, and after that, you can choose the best model based on the BIC uh, post probability or um, the covariate. Uh, and after that, you can get the figure like, like this. Uh, in here, I will... Um, um, I will show you my data. This is my uh, my data. I have around uh, 65 compounds. As you can see here, I have around 65 compounds, uh, 64 compounds, and I have around. Um, let me see. I have around uh, 100 and uh, 100 and uh, 8, uh, 8, 17, you know, uh, 17 more uh, as you know, if you follow my video, as you know, right, uh, we have, if we have 10 compounds, we only have one covariate, uh, um, one covariate. And if we have around 64, it means that we maximum around 6 or 7 covariate. But in this data, in this data set, we have around 113, and, and, um, um, 17 compounds. It means that we have uh, more than rather than compounds. So we cannot use the conventional model to predict uh, PIC50. So in this study, in this video, I will show you how to run the um, QSAC model with the best model we using the Bayesian model average. Um, the theory of um, BM, uh, Bayesian model average, you can read more, but in this video, I only show you, only show you how to run and how to analyze it. Uh, uh, clear. And the first time you need to install your, uh, install the packets in the R Studio. If you don't have R Studio, you can download because it is the free software you can download everywhere in the Google or um, every um, 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 website. Uh, in here, uh, the first time you need to install the packet. Uh, in here, I the, because my data in the uh, in, in here is the Excel file, so I need to install the packet with the rich Excel file, and directly I need to install the packet with BMA. So if you want to install, you only click run. You can do that because I already uh, installed. So he the the, the software uh, asked me uh, whether or not I need to reinstall again, but I don't want because I already installed. So if you don't uh, don't have this bucket, you need to run it. Similar with you know BMA, you need to run it. You can see here if I run it, uh, they ask me again because I already uh, run it. So after you install the bucket, you can run the model. Uh, in here, I uh, install the libraries, uh, you know, of Rich SL5, and I install, I run the library of, you know, uh, BMA. So next, uh, we need to set the directory. Uh, in here, I, um, you can go to the section, you can go to the uh, set working directory here, and you can choose the directory, and you can choose the folder. For example, here, I have my data in desktop and my folder EBMA. I, I after that I click open. And here similar with you know the um, the command I write here. I right? set wd uh, working directory and see user my name and you know desktop and you know BMA. Um, after that you can you know run it. Uh, you can run it and after that you can run. Um, now you need to read your data, right? And here you have, uh, I set my data in, uh, just like uh, input data, and I read SL5 and my data, my data name is data, you know. And after that you can uh, read SL5 data doc uh, XLXS, and after that you run, click run. And next you need to attach them uh, because we, we need to attach and after that we only name uh, you can see here uh, this is our data right and you can compare with you know the the, the SL file right the first column we call, uh, compounds the second is BIC50 and the following is the covariate 117 
uh, so after that I need to uh, set the covariate it means that molecular descriptors uh, it is um, in, uh, independent covariate right as you can see here you can count right one two it is my one year is just, uh, the number of compounds and PIC50 is the outcome so from here is uh, the covariate uh, here is molecular descriptor uh, from number three I said that the data matrix and you know uh, uh, in here did the uh, in input data it is my data set here and um, Braco and the uh, column I will choose the column from number three until uh, the column number uh, 119 you can see here uh, from here is 113 14 15 16 17 18 and 19 so I put the column me from 3 to 119 after that I run the coverage next I put the X um, X is the um, um, independent variable it is um, uh, equal you know C by uh, CB uh, CB and you know the our, um, uh, our data name uh, in right CB and cova and after that I hear the Y is the outcomes and the I put in and dollar with you know PIC50 to get my outcome and after that I run and after that I run again uh, the next we need to summarize right the the, the formula of you know uh, of the algorithm of BM, uh, BMA model is search uh, um, equal DIC uh, regression X Y and trick E true so I need to search I need to search and after that I summarize my results you can see here they run the black one it means that interrupt or not I don't want to interrupt and uh, wait a minute because our data is um, too big so I need time um, but I think around after that they will show you the, the, the result of the BMA model and you can see here they said that around um, uh, uh, they said that um, have around 61 model set, uh, was selected and here they saw around five best model cumulative with you know, both uh, theory uh, probability uh, as you can see here uh, uh, in here they have uh, the intercept is 100 right and uh, the, um, uh, the SD um, the standard deviation around 1.3 and model 1 here is intercept around 13 uh, because intercept here the total of intercept is 100 right and um, the model one uh, the intercept around 13 number two around um, 11 uh, model three around 11 and this is the the uh, the slope uh, the slope of you know uh, of you know, of uh, a covariance from you know in here the the the, the foot the model one as you can check here number one here the red one is positive and the blue one in here is negative uh, you can see here uh, it means that this model is uh, PIC50 equal 13 um, uh, plus with you know 1.2 uh, multiple with you know MO uh, uh, SME8 and here you can see the uh, the MO uh, SU13 here is minus it means that uh, in, uh, the blue you can see here MO13 in the, in the blue one it is the negative one and you can make model. I will show you um, uh, detail in the uh, the, the previous um, in few minutes. And you can see here they have around five model, right? And which one is the best model? And we need to uh, choose the best model based on the the first one. We need the, the, the number of coverage. In that, uh, it means that each model they have around fifteen uh, variate. You can count here: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, 15 and 15 and the R square of this model around 65 percent and the BAC we need to choose the smallest and you can see here um, compared with another model this model have the smallest you know BAC and the post probability is most highest uh, compared with another uh, model this model have a highest post probability uh, in here I also show you the my article public um, around three years ago and I said that I use this model to predict the uh, the tick building syndrome and I uh, around uh, two you know uh, um, around a lot of model right uh, so in here we can choose the best model by you know 
the lower lower number of in, uh, independent variables it means that the lower number of covariates molecular or uh, molecular descriptors and the lower BIC and the highest R square and high probability and so in here the the first the best model in in our data now is the model one uh, with the with match with a uh, uh, criteria as I mentioned before right four criteria uh, uh, the number of variables um, the number of molecular descriptors R square BIC and probability and after that you can if you want to have image you can run the image and you can show this image and in here you can zoom that you can zoom here with the zoom wait a minute uh, because I open already you can zoom the your data here and you can um, you also can save it export with data by say image or say PDF uh, uh, so uh, in here I uh, I show you how to um, choose the best model uh, how to choose the better model uh, uh, especially in the quiz model right uh, with you know uh, only few compounds but um, a thousand uh, but a lot of you know covariates uh, so next uh, how to ally right uh, at I I did in the previous one I uh, after I choose the best uh, compounds and I I I run it and I let me see here I show you a little bit how to um, in here for example I after I choose the um, uh, uh, I run another data uh, so I choose the um, I, I separate data to the trend set and test sets like that and uh, I will uh, upload the data in the uh, link of the comment box and you can follow it after you run the model as I mentioned before right you run the model and they said that uh, they have a lot of model and you only select the model and how you can uh, show your data uh, in here I will show you how to ally this model right in this model uh, I only copy from the uh, as, as here you can copy here and you can paste in the Excel file here and you can see that you know the intercept here is around 100 because they control uh, a lot of models and the, total, the cumulative of intercept is 100 and HD around OP3 and number one here the intercept around OP, uh, uh, 8 you know uh, 8 uh, point 20, uh, so the formula of your um, the formula of you know uh, uh, of your data is PLC50 equal let me see here PLC50 equal uh, 8.2 8.2 uh, 5 uh, you know minus because he he is negative so minus 0.8 you know uh, 4 uh, equal with uh, mc4 here uh, so in here i already you know uh, i already you know make it in the excel file here and you can predict your pic 50 uh, for example here uh, as i mentioned before right uh, this uh, your pic 50 um, equal you know the intercept uh, plus with you know uh, the the first covariate uh, multiple with the um, in, uh, the intercept of you know the covariate one similar what with you know four uh, three covariate and after that you can predict your PIC fifty uh, and I draw here I have around uh, twenty eight compounds and I have I can calculate the PIC fifty so next I will you know calculate the um, the predicted of you know uh, minus uh, the actual and square and I have the column and after I average the column it means that I have the uh, I have the MSE uh, at, if you follow my previous video and you can see how to calculate the MSE right um, and uh, here is how to calculate the, the R's uh, the R R, R e, you only use the corals and you hear array one e the um, PLC uh, fifty from the the actual e from lab data and the array two e the PLC fifty from the your predicted and you can have the R here and after that you can calculate R square by you know square of you know uh, from R and here the next one how to calculate the R um R C V R uh, R cross validation square and here 
if you follow it my previously you also calculate it by the first time you need to calculate the MSE first the second one you can calculate the uh, similar with you know uh, here I have I have the formula right you need to calculate the average of you know um, predicted uh, PAC 50 and after that you can uh, after that you you know you use the formula E um, PAC 50 uh, minus with uh, the average of PAC 50 and square and after that you can calculate the whole did that uh, um, for the whole compounds after that you can uh, average average big data average you know average uh, let me see why what is really wrong because I I I go back again uh, here so after that you uh, average big columns and you can have uh, big column and the RC50 uh, RC uh, 1 minus the MSE divide for uh, the the formula I show from here. So if you follow my previous study and you can uh, view video, you can calculate the R, uh, the RCV square. And I also uh, upload this data from the uh, my uh, GitHub, and you can download and you can practice. Um, I hope this video can help you uh, to the best model uh, uh, with the BMA model. Uh, thank you for your listening.